do a video on the Drysdale position and why we call it the Drysdale position. It comes out of a move that we learned from, unshockingly, Robert Drysdale when we were training at his academy here in Vegas. And it was something he taught a couple of times and the more we get into it, the more we realize how good it was. And we eventually use that position as our main position for attacking. If you followed us for any amount of time, then you have several entries to get here. If not, we've got a whole library for you. You can go ahead and check that out. Make sure you subscribe. So the key in this position here is that my arm is in between his legs and I'm moving this over. Now we're gonna rock all the way around and I'm gonna put my weight right here on his leg. Now I'm gonna clear this leg just far enough to grab his foot and I'm gonna attack the toe hold here. Now most of the time you're gonna go ahead and finish this toe hold. The detail on the toe hold is I wanna bring his heel forward and his toes back and that's gonna give me a tap. Now the defense that he can give me here is to kick his leg straight. Now from here I can move my leg through and I can triangle my legs I need to keep some control over this leg here so that he doesn't go belly down. But I'm gonna pull this in. And now I'm gonna try to get as far as I can. I can finish this with one arm, but I won't always. So sometimes I need to get the leg straight, grab his heel, and now I can do it with both legs. And then I can use our same technique for moving back up to sitting. Now I'm gonna show you kind of the way that we've adapted it over time, as much as we've used it, and people have kind of gotten used to defending. So now I'm here. Benny still likes to bring his arm around, so that's not wrong. I actually like to push this down. I feel like being smaller, it gives me a lot more strength and it's a lot easier for me to rotate. So now my body is in a line with his. And you want this either way, but this is how I get to this control here, nice and controlled. So same thing, I'm gonna clear it off. I'm gonna get this toe hold. If he strains this leg out now, you can see right here, He's giving me my Vinny control. So I'm gonna pull it in, throw my Vinny lock on, straighten the leg, get the finish, and come back on top. And you can see like this gives me a lot more control to be able to get the finish, um, as opposed to potentially dealing with him going belly down or moving around. But once again, if you're using this technique, understand this toe hold is really powerful and I finish that most of the time. So now you've got a little bit of history on why we call it the Drysdale position. And if you want to check out some more of our videos to see how we use them, I will link them.